North desperately wanted to resign throughout the war. He even broke down in tears on a couple of occasions in front of the House of Commons. Uh, his desire to resign has often not been taken seriously, both by his contemporaries and by uh, historians. But his words uh, are deeply moving. I mean, he talks about feeling tied to a stake. Uh, he talks of his uh, reputation being more and more ruined the longer he remained. He saw his continued uh, uh, time in power as being an obstacle to the negotiation of any uh, peace with uh, America. In fact, George III was so concerned that Lord North might resign that George III essentially spied on him through his own uh, assistants. Uh, for example, uh, Charles Jenkinson, who was uh, one of uh, North's secretaries, um, uh, the king had Jenkinson regularly report on North's state of mind. Uh, by about March of 1778, North seemed to be going through something like a nervous breakdown. Uh, his daughter later wrote that for three years he'd attempted to resign and that the war might have ended earlier if he'd been allowed to do so. But George III refused to let him resign because the alternative to North was uh, an opposition leader who were all, by 1778, committed to ending the war in America and even withdrawing totally from America. And so Lord, the King never accepted uh, Lord North's resignations. Um, the last opportunity was in 1778 when the Earl of Chatham, who had been opposed to the war but uh, was against acknowledging the independence of America, the Earl of Chatham, better known as Pitt the Elder, died. And that removed the last alternative uh, possible to uh, Lord North. Uh, Lord North didn't resign because he was literally in the king's debt. The king uh, had um, bailed him out of debt in 1777. He'd given him a lot of honours, um, like Knight of the Garter. Lord North was the uh, first prime minister for many years to hold that honour. He'd given his wife uh, and his father sinecures. North was under a lot of pressure from his father to stay in office so that he could benefit the rest of the family. And North was from a wealthy family. His father was the Earl of Guildford. He would inherit long term a large fortune. But his father essentially kept him poor and gave him very little uh, money. Uh, North was also concerned on principle that if he resigned, it would create a constitutional crisis because George III had threatened darkly that if he resigned, George III might um, abdicate. And so uh, Lord North remained in power. Uh, 